Welcome to reading practice. Do you think children should be not allowed to use the internet? No, I don't believe children should be completely prohibited from using the internet. Instead, I think it's important to provide them with guidance and supervision while they explore the online world. Restricting their access entirely might hinder their ability to develop digital literacy skills, which are essential in today's technology-driven society. However, it's absolutely necessary for parents to establish age-appropriate boundaries, use parental controls, and educate children about internet safety to ensure a positive and secure online experience. Do you like animals? Yes, I really love them. They bring so much joy and companionship. Pets, like dogs and cats, are wonderful friends to have at home. They are loyal, and spending time with them can be very comforting. Besides, animals in nature, like birds, are fascinating to observe. Learning about different species and their behaviors is also quite interesting. Overall, animals add a special and positive aspect to life. What type of bags do you like? I like simple and practical bags. A backpack is my favorite because it's easy to carry and I can put a lot of things in it. I also like tote bags for their versatility. They're good for shopping and I can use them for various purposes. I prefer neutral colors like black or brown because they go well with most of my outfits. The important thing for me is that the bag is durable and functional. How often do you carry a bag when you go out? I carry a bag Almost every time I go out, it's convenient to have a bag to hold my essentials, like my wallet, keys, and phone. Plus, I might need it for things I pick up while I'm out, like groceries or items I buy. It just makes things easier and more organized. What did you usually do on your birthday when you were a child. On my birthday, I usually had a small party at home with my family and close friends. We would have a cake with candles and everyone would sing a happy birthday to me. I used to receive some presents and we would play games or watch my favorite cartoons together. It was a simple and joyful celebration that made me feel special. How do you celebrate your birthday nowadays? I celebrate my birthday in a more relaxed way. I might go out for a meal with my close friends or family. We share some good food, chat, and enjoy each other's company. Sometimes I receive a few thoughtful gifts, but the focus is more on spending quality time together. It's a simple and enjoyable way to mark the occasion. Do you think it's wrong for parents to choose which friends their children have? In my opinion, it's not necessarily wrong for parents to be involved in their children's friendships. Parents often want to ensure that their children are spending time with positive influences. However, it's essential to strike a balance. Children should also have the freedom to make their own friends and learn from their social experiences. Too much control might hinder their ability to develop important social skills. Communication 
between parents and children about friendships is vital, fostering trust and understanding. Can you think of any disadvantages of making new friends online? Certainly, there are some potential disadvantages to making friends online. One concern is that you might not truly know who the person is on the other side of the screen. They might not be honest about their identity or intentions, leading to possible safety issues. Also, online friendships can lack the depth and closeness that face-to-face -face relationships provide. Miscommunications are more common when relying on written messages, and there's a risk of feeling isolated if your online friends are not available or if the connection fades. You should be cautious to approach online friendships with mindful of personal safety. Would you say it is harder for people to make new friends as they get older? Yes, I would say that making new friends can become somewhat more challenging as people get older. This is often because adults have busy lives with work and family responsibilities, leaving less time for socializing. Furthermore, individuals may become more selective about the quality of their friendships, prioritizing deeper connections over a larger circle of acquaintances. However, it's still possible to make new friends by engaging in activities and hobbies, attending social events, and being open to meeting new people. Maintaining a friendly and approachable attitude is key to forming connections regardless of age. Have you ever experienced an accident? One unexpected day, my workmate and I experienced a frightening bicycle accident. The sudden sound of screeching tires and the jolt of the impact left us shaken but grateful for our helmets. With the bicycle resting by the roadside, my workmate remained calm, ensuring safety. A kind passerby stopped to offer assistance and called for help. 